What's up, dude? Do that. This is Rocket Two K. No, no, no. I've redone really this video like nine times now, so I'm gonna do it one more time. Okay. So first of all, if you're on Steam, or have you ever been on Steam and sat there and realised that you've got so many games that it's just completely filled up your hard drive? This happens a lot to people who have solid state drives and they don't install it away from their boot drive because generally solid state drives are about 120 gigs right now is, is generally the common solid state drives that are out now and a lot of people find that games will just completely fill up those solid state drives really really fast so it's best to either get an external hard drive or an extra hard drive to install so that you can install your Steam games to but Generally, Steam will install as default to the boot drive, and the boot drive is something you don't really generally want it to install to every time. And for me, installing to the boot drive is not a big, not a, not a good thing. I don't like it installing to the boot drive. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to install the, how to install your games onto an external hard drive with or an extra hard drive, a separate one from where your Steam is installed to, without having to worry about moving Steam around. So first of all, you want to find your Steam itself. So go to your computer, your boot drive. Now remember, this is by default, program files. And then you want to find Steam, just press S repeatedly, and eventually you'll get to Steam. And then Steam apps. And then you'll want to find your common folder, right? Now just remember, I've deleted my common folder because my common folder is actually just a link. And this common folder happens to be my backup. So find your common folder and then take all the games from inside your common folder, right? Take all of them from inside there. Find your Steam or where find your um your extra hard drive or external, whatever you want to call it, and then paste them all in there. As you can see, there's all of my Steam games or most of my Steam games are installed there. And then you can go ahead and create your link. Now first of all you want to take your link to your Steam itself, so I'm going to control C that. And then you want to find your command prompt, CMD. Now I find some things don't work if I don't run this as an administrator, so it's best to run it as administrator. And then you want to type in mklink, remember, mklink, and then you want to space, and then you want to forward slash D, and then you want to put a quotation mark and then remember you can't do control V so you have to do paste and then you want to type in a backslash and then type in common or whatever folder you're creating a link to so this is going to be linking it for the uh, for the program so Steam's going to try attempt to connect to this here this is where Steam's going to attempt to connect to and this is where the link is going to send it so the link is going to send it to Steam or wh whatever your external whatever folder you've chosen for your external hard drive to install it to that's where it's going to send it so mark for me is going to send it to Steam and then you want to create another quotation mark and then enter and there you go symbolic link created so now if I go ahead and minimize this steam and go back to my steam apps as you can see symbolic link created and if I click on this it's going to take me to the common and it's going to take me to the common and at the moment my common is actually here but if you look at my actual common this is the actual ones that's installed to the hard drive itself because this is my backup and as you can see there it is so that is how you create a symbolic link. I hope I've helped you. Please rate, comment, and sub if you want to. This has been Froggy2K9. I have hope I helped.